High fly ball, deep right field. Happy Mother's Day! Goal! That one's for you, Mom. Grace, one of those hitters who makes contact. In the left center field, that's going to tail away and goes by the dive of Derek Bell. Grace will be in with a double at second base. It's going to be a triple for Mark Grace. There's a drive to right center field. Way back, back, and he does hit for the cycle. Mark Grace. At number 19, we go to Dodger Stadium in 1978. On the Mother's Day holiday, the Cubs were visiting the Dodgers and fully showcasing their offseason acquisition in Dave Kingman. In this memorable game, a hard-hitting left fielder tallied 8 RBIs on 3 home runs, including a game-winning 3-run blast in the top of the 15th inning. Though Kingman's offensive display on this Mother's Day was most impressive, maybe the best thing that came out of it was an interview. After the game, Dodgers manager Tommy Lasorda was asked to give his opinion about Kingman's performance. And, well, just have a listen. What the f you think is my opinion of it? I think it was f put that in. I don't f He beat us with three f home runs. At number 18, we look at an extraordinary game that took place on Mother's Day in 2000. In Montreal, the Expos were hosting the Cubs in a matinee that featured, well, quite a number of unique occurrences. Let's have a look at some of them. To start, this game featured a triple play, pulled off by the Expos, which thwarted an early Cubs rally. Next, Eric Young Sr., the speedy Cubs second baseman, achieved the rare feat of five stolen bases in one game. Amazingly, this was not the first time that Young accomplished this, meaning that on this day, he joined an exclusive club of individuals with two games of five or more stolen bases. Makes sense? Okay, moving on. A few other players reached some noteworthy milestones here with Sammy Sosa scraping together five hits, and Henry Rodriguez amassing seven RBIs. Through it all, the Expos came out on top, scoring three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning to win 16 to 15. Now that's what I call one wild Mother's Day ride. Number 17. Stand against Acosta, bags loaded, two outs, tie game, ninth inning. Drive the left, and deep, get out of here! Grand slam, ball game! Happy Mother's Day! Light that baby up! They're gonna walk him again to load the bases. Six walks today to Harper and 13 in the series. He can remember this game the rest of his life. This may never happen again. Moving ahead to moment number 15, we look at a hitting streak that arrived at 30 games in 1923. On the Mother's Day holiday, Harry Heilman, the Hall of Fame right fielder of Detroit Tigers fame, became just the seventh player in modern history to achieve a 30-game hit streak. Heilman's prolific run would go on for just two more games, but its effects would resonate to the season's end, as he finished 1923 with career highs in average, slugging, OPS, OPS+, plus, war, and runs scored. Number 14. Atlanta's Hoyt Wilhelm, the knuckleball relief ace, checked into his 1,000th big league ball game. Nobody has ever come close. Here's Big Mike, Michael Pineda on the mound for the Yankees this afternoon. Swing and a miss, upstairs in the fastball. Swing and a miss, strikeout number five. Strike three, 12 strikeouts, Michael Pineda absolutely filthy. 16, oh, what an afternoon. Swing and a miss. 18 Orioles went down. Moving along to number 12, we look at an incredible finish to a Mother's Day game from 1933. On a particularly gloomy Sunday afternoon, the Dodgers were hosting the Phillies at Ebbets Field, but trailed their rival 6-4 entering the game's final frame. As rain fell over the central New York confines, the Dodgers rallied, getting three straight men on base against Phillies reliever Phil Collins. Not that one. That's the one. Capitalizing on this promising rally, Dodgers manager Max Carey sent Hack Wilson up to the dish. 
through a rainy haze, the veteran slugger delivered for his team, hitting a grand slam home run deep to right that won the game. Although a pinch hit walk-off slam is exciting enough as is, it is worth noting that some accounts indicate that Wilson's cut was also an inside the Parker, although I could not find any primary source that could confirm this. Nevertheless, Hack Wilson's epic game winner rightfully lands in our number 12 spot of all-time Mother's Day moments. Number 11. That they just got up from the minor leagues. Deep to left, going back, looking up, it's gonna be gone! Joey Votto clubs his third home run. Hit to center, pretty good. Back is Ankeel at the wall, forget it, that's gone! A two home run game for Joey, and the Reds have knotted this one up. Hit deep center field, Ankeel going back, it's gone! Joey Votto is delivered! A walk off grand slam home! Mother's Day present for Votto. Three home runs and look at this at home plate. Two on, two out. The pitch. Lewis swings and drives one towards left field. Well hit. Holiday going back. He's at the warning track. He looks up. It's gone. Lewis with a three-run homer and the Giants have a 4-0 lead. Freddie Lewis has done it again. It's 8-0. One-two pitch and a swing and a shot into right field. It is a base hit. And Freddie Lewis, the rookie, has hit for the cycle in Denver. At our number nine Mother's Day moment, we go back to 1919. At Redland Field in Cincinnati, Reds right-hander Hod Eller threw a no-hitter against the Cardinals, allowing only three walks while striking out eight. It was just the second shutout of the 23-year-old's career, and his Mother's Day no-no put his, ahem, <clears throat> world champions to be Reds in first place in the National League. Number eight. First round draft pick, good rookie year. That's what he did. Strikes out Trumbo. A dominant performance continues for Chris Sale. He looks like he could pitch nine more. In the air to right field. A one hitter for Chris Sale. Ladies and gentlemen, the last man to ever wear number two for the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter. First of all, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Family is forever, and I'll be eternally grateful to be a part of the Yankee family. So I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you very much. He built it. Millar playing behind him as Ortiz rifles it out towards deep left center field. Patterson back, that'll grab the wall. Chris coming all the way around from first base. He will score on the double by David Ortiz. And the Red Sox are finally on the board. Inside, and he walks in a run. From third comes Big Poppy, and it's 5-2 to two now. Veritek lines it into right center field. From third comes Pena. Ball is bobbled out in right center. Two runs are in, and it's a one-run game now. Lugo chops it right side. Millar's going to need help over his ray. The play, no! Here comes another run. Red Sox win! Boston comes all the way back. A six-run night. Here's the windup, the pitch. A swing and a fly ball to center. Dawson is under it. He's got it. Charlie Lee has pitched a no-hit, no-run ball game. The Expos are all to congratulate Charlie Lee. Oh boy, we have a big one here. At number three, we're going to May 9th, 1937. On this Mother's Day holiday, legendary Giants pitcher Carl Hubble achieved a significant milestone by winning his 20th consecutive decision. With a complete game, the 34-year-old screwballer reached a mark that had been equaled only once before by Rube Marquardt, another Giant. Carl, the meal ticket Hubble, followed up this milestone win with another, another one, one, etching number 21 to his record on May 13th. Then he won again. 
and again, and again. And that's where his run peaked. 24 straight decisions won. A record then, and a record now. Amazingly, a few players since have come modestly close to Hubble's streak, though the Hall of Famer's run has still managed to elude all who have tried. Mother's Day 1937 will forever go down as the day Hubble tied the incredible record that would become his own soon after. Number 2. Here's the payoff pitch. This is it! There it goes! It's out of here! Making his seventh start, one of those against the Tampa Bay Rays. Kuzminov reaches up and grabs the line drive, and that's the first out of the ball game. Strike three call, fastball right there, so six up, six down. Pennington has it, fires across, and 12 up, 12 down for Dallas Braden. Fly ball, right field, Sweeney coming in, he's got it. 21 in a row, retired by Dallas Braden. Strike him out! Strikeout number six for Braden, 24 up, 24 down. All across baseball, you're reading what is happening in Oakland right now. Pennington, he's got it. Throw it up first. He did it. He did it. Dallas Brayton has thrown a perfect game. Holy cow, he did it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.